Hey guys, what's up? It's Carlos. Welcome back, DCS crew. Uh, you might hear some gnawing of a bone in the background. That is my pup, Ziggy. Um, and uh, I've given him a, uh, a temporary sedative in the form of a, uh, a nyla bone that he's going to chew on for a couple minutes. Hopefully it would allow me to get through at least this intro. Um, I do have a special guest at uh, DCS HQ. It is Dylan Mallory, and he's going to help me go through um, two particular knives, uh, the differences on two var variants of the same knife from CJRB. You have the standard version right here in gray G10, and then you have the Blade HQ exclusive in green canvas micarta. Both are D2, but there are some subtle differences between the two. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about them uh, right after this intro, so stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, because, you know, it's 2020 and we can't keep anybody out these days. So moving on. Uh, welcome back, DCS crew. That's why I call you DCS crew. Um, we are here checking out the CJRB Centros. There is um, the standard version, which it comes in many, va many variants, and you can uh, see that this is actually the variant in a D2 steel stonewash blade, deep carry clip. Uh, gray G10 is a 3.6 inch uh, blade, if I recall correctly. Um, I think Dylan had mentioned that to me before the video. If he didn't, I apologize in advance. God, that would suck if he was right next to me and heard me say that wrong, right? <laughs> so anyways, um, cool story about this one. Um, I uh, w went by the um, the CGRB and Artisan Cutlery booth at uh, SHOT Show 2020 that was held in January uh, at Las Vegas. And uh, the cool thing about it was um, he was talking to me about the Centros, actually had my gray one with me. And he's like, dude, dude, you gotta see, you gotta see like the variant I I, uh, I just had picked up with uh, CGRB and, and Russ, who actually helps with um, Artisan and CGRB as well. He, he looked at Dylan, he's like, no, no, no. And he shook his head real quick. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll never forget it. It was like yesterday because Dylan looks at me and he's like, oh shit, I think I told you something I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> and he's like, all right, whatever. You know what? They, they already allocated it. So they already agreed on it. We'll just go ahead and divulge the details. So, um... They had found out um, that day at SHOT Show when they introduced this variant out that Blade HQ asked them to shelve it uh, because they wanted to go ahead and uh, release it exclusively uh, through Blade HQ. This is actually the green canvas micarta version of uh, the uh, CJRB Centros. And a lot of really cool things um, uh, that I noticed when I compared it to mine. Uh, first and foremost, they are both in D2. They are both stonewashed. They both have the same deep carry pocket clip and you can carry it either left or right hand as you can see. Both came uh, with a, a really good lock um, and uh, they, they were centered quite well. Now, um, I don't know if this is something that came specifically with this one, but I actually noticed it before I picked up the camera, but I noticed that the standoffs were actually um, a, a different color than the one that comes with the, the standard Centros. And I also noticed that there is typically the lanyard hole that is reserved right here for the Centros, and that was actually uh, missing on this particular one. I don't know if that was something that was on there uh, that he intentionally took off or not, but this is actually Dylan Mallory's version. So more than likely, he probably just took that that one off. Um, he, he's looking at me disapprovingly. He's like, man, you shouldn't have told him that. Now they're going to know. So in any case, this is actually his personal carry. Um, this came out from Blade HQ. Uh, how long ago, Dylan? I think like maybe a month ago at most. Yeah, it came out a few weeks ago, definitely. Okay. And um, so the cool thing about this knife, I mean, it's relatively new. Hopefully it's still available on Blade HQ. But if I know them, uh, if it sells well, they will come back and they will have it uh, re-released again. It's not like a limited one and it's done. Um, but there was a little bit of an issue that they had on this particular knife. And for the sake of transparency, I do want to say this because um, there was some bad and then there was some good that came out of it. So there were a lot of people that complained when they picked this knife up and it was sent over to them. The truth is they liked it a whole lot. It was, it was a really good uh, model, just like the standard version. But... Um, they had noticed, and this was an overwhelming response by the knife community that actually picked up this knife, that there was uh, quite a bit of lock stick on uh, the, uh, the, the, the liner lock on this knife. And um, Dylan had actually picked one up and he noticed that, yeah, it was, uh, it, it's, it, it was indeed the case. So, um, like for yours, uh, Dylan, uh, by the way, because Dylan Mallory is 
here in the studio. I didn't, I didn't really announce that at the beginning, but you heard him. So might as well just let the cat <laughs> out of the bag. I mean, geez, right? So um, what is it that you did personally to go ahead and fix this? Do you, do you recall what you did or did you, did you lend it to a friend who was much better versed than you and I? Or uh, what did you end up doing? Well, the, the best thing to do is obviously we don't want you taking the knives apart and trying to remedy this with tools or such, but uh, just keep opening and closing it. Make sure there's no oil on the lock face. Uh, but if you, as obviously we don't recommend it, but me, I do take my knives apart and, uh, but I took a device and I took a little bit of the lock face off and just kind of polished it a little more and then put it back together and it was perfectly fine. So. Okay. So we just took a little bit of, of, uh, kind of, uh, spit shining on the, uh, on the lock bar to kind of get it, you know, to where you wanted it to go. But obviously, if you don't know what you're doing, don't try this at home, kids. So, um, you know, the, the fact that he has hands-on experience with a lot of the knives for Artisan and CJRB allowed him to be able to do that. And plus, he knows a lot of uh, people that allowed him to be able to, you know, have that opportunity. I mean, it's his knife. He should be able to play with it as he will, right? Okay, so um, if you are one of those people that ended up picking up this knife and uh, found that there is some uh, lock stick, um, feel free to go ahead and reach out to uh, Blade HQ and they should be more than happy to help you. Or you can reach out to uh, Russ at Artisan Cutlery uh, slash CJRB. You can reach out to them via Instagram. CJRB does have an Instagram account and uh, they also have one via Artisan Cutlery. You can always uh, tell them about the Centros uh, and ask them what they can do with regards to the lock stick problem. I know that they have an American uh, warranty person, which is Russell. And uh, he should be able to go ahead and either walk you through the steps to be able to fix it or um, to go ahead and uh, have this uh, particular model replaced. So I am sure by now, you know, you're thinking, why the hell should I fix something that uh, came that way from the factory? Well, the truth is, you know, nobody's perfect. And I mean, they're all um, endeavoring to be better. And at the end of the day, that's what customer service is there to help you in the event that the customer is not satisfied because that's at the end what they want. And that's the end game. I mean, you know, everybody from the designer to, uh, you know, the marketing person to even the company itself, the guy, you know, at the top, he looks at those sales reports and he's happy because he sees the numbers are high. So um, that being said, it's cool to see another variant from the Centros. That was actually a really cool design that um, Dylan had uh, released. I think that was your first uh, the CJRB release, right? Yes. Okay, so um, so you had the, the flat uh, G10, and then now there's like a contoured uh, green canvas micarta, which I like, I like a lot because um, it reminds me of the green canvas micarta that comes with um, the, the Giant Mouse Knives uh, Ace line. And um, I had the Ace Biblio, and uh, this is actually the, uh, the Ace Grand. If you want, I'll go ahead and take it out right now so you can see what it is. I didn't have that prepared, but it came out with the quickness, and this is actually the Ace Grand. So you can actually see between the two, there's a very, very distinct um, a color that comes with green canvas micarta. And I love it because with patina, it actually, you know, um, just between the oils of your skin and, and different media that contacts it, it really changes the color and it really adds that kind of patina to micarta. And the reason why I say patina is because micarta isn't the only thing that takes a patina. Um, my buddy Dylan was able to go ahead and share this guy with me that you're not going to see for sale anywhere. Um, and as you can see, it has taken some really, really badass patina of its own. And uh, I heard it has some antibacterial properties. So uh, yeah, I think that that's the reason why uh, Dylan has been carrying it during the uh, the pandemic. Um, so what, what scale um, material is this in particular? Is this brass or? It's copper. It's copper. And how long have you had this for? I've had that one ever since uh, Blade Show 2019. Wow, okay, so you, this has been in your pockets ever since then. So all of this, like patina, this is basically patina from your travels, you know, through Blade and Shot Show and, 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 and everything in between, because obviously, you know, in Georgia, it does get sweaty and, you know, I mean, with Very use sweaty. and stuff. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. Well, that's that's really nice. It's got some nice heft to it, you know. And it'd be nice for CJRB to come out with something like this, but you know, one can only hope because as of right now, I don't think any plans were slated 
uh, for this to be able to come out, um, you know, in this particular variant. I know that uh, Artisan Cutlery had a couple of things that were um, available in different variants uh, for uh, some of their knives. And one of them in particular was uh, the Archeo. This is actually a full size with titanium and carbon fiber inlays. Uh, and this one in particular is the S35 Yen Blade. This is actually, this is, this is very near and dear to you, right? Yes. Okay. So um, it didn't come with S35 Yen uh, with the brass, uh, the, excuse me, the brass or the copper. I was going to say brass for some reason. I don't know why. Brass. Yeah, brass. It sounds like some like really schmoozy like water, right? <laughs> So in any case, exactly. Um, so unfortunately, they don't have uh, any plans to be able to go ahead and release this. I'd like to go ahead and see it, but in the meantime, if you do want to go ahead and pick up an awesome upgrade for a very similar pricing, I, I think definitely under sixty. Yes. Um, uh, that you can find that at Blade HQ. Go ahead and pick yes. out the uh, the CJRB uh, Centros in green canvas micarta. You get everything that comes with the awesome Mallory design. Uh, that, you know that's in, normally in G10 but it is translated to that of green canvas my card. And if you do have an issue with the, the log bar, I do not recommend that you do that yourself. Uh, I'm telling you right now, but if you choose to just make sure that you know that, you know, anything you do that messes up the knife is gonna avoid the warranty. I mean, it is what it is, guys. These knives are tools, they're meant to be used and they're meant to be um, upkept as well. So you gotta make sure that whatever you're gonna do, if you're gonna go ahead and take it apart, clean it, service it, you know, make sure that you use quality tools. You make sure you use a quality lube, you know, quality bits like this uh, Weha Tools Kit. It's really good, nice and cheap. I mean, don't skimp on something like that when you have a quality piece like the Centro. So uh, I want to say thanks to uh, Dylan for, uh, uh, you know, lending me this knife for a few minutes so I can go ahead and show it off on the video and uh, make a couple of comparisons to not only my knife uh, right here, which is his G10 variant, but a couple of other knives that we saw in this video. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to uh, to reach out to Dylan via his uh, Mallory Designs uh, Instagram page. That's at Mallory, M-A-L-L-E-R-Y, was it underscore designs, D-E-S-I-G-N-S -E uh, on Instagram. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, not only do I do videos, but I can spell. And uh, if you have any questions, yes, exactly. Reach out to me at Daily Carry Solutions. Feel free to leave a comment below, or you can reach out to me at dailycarrysolutions.com via the contact page. It'll send me an email. And uh, hopefully, if I'm not busy trying to get my dog not to do something he's not supposed to do while I'm on video, like scratch on the bed, like he's doing right now, I will be able to answer you. So uh, that being said, just remember guys, whether it is the micarta variant or even the G10 variant or heck, any other Mallory design that you see floating out on the market, just remember, if you EDC, even if it's a prototype like this, remember, if you EDC, think of DCS. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Big shout out to Dylan Mallory for uh, passing by DCS HQ. And uh, yeah, take it easy. Uh, you want to say anything, Dylan? Uh, thank you. <laughs> That's Dylan right there, guys. All actions, no words. <laughs> Peace.